Litecoin has taken off like we expected in our last update about this coin. I'm really, really happy about the progress. And even better is that Litecoin is one of the leading indicators in the entire altcoin market. Guys, you are going to love this. So since this is an update video, we're going to do what's called a top-down analysis on this really, really bullish coin to give you an overall picture of what's going on. Not only that, I'm going to talk about why it took off. We're going to talk about does it still look bullish? Then we're also going to talk about what sort of uh, price targets we're looking at and where you want to try to get into if you already missed this, all right? Regardless, there's a lot of opportunity. There's a lot to talk about in this video. I don't know how long it's going to be. But I'm doing one single cut to get it out to you guys as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So like and subscribe to this video right now. All right, let's go. So the first thing we're going to talk about is do a top-down analysis. And what that means, we're going to go from the very, very high side down to the low side. And like you guys see right here, Litecoin did 10,630% on the last bull run. Okay? Absolutely astounding amount. Also, it was the second coin to take off in the last bull run right behind Ethereum. So Ethereum was the first altcoin. Litecoin was the next one. And then everything else followed, followed finally by XRP, which blew everything out of the water. All right. So Ethereum has already taken off. Now Litecoin's taken off. What do you think is going to happen next? Yes. All right. So am I, do I still think a alt season is coming? Absolutely, I do. All right, let's go ahead and dive in on this sucker. So the first thing I'm going to annotate are these two monthly breakers. They're very, very important levels. And the reason is why is because you have a downtrend, a uptrend, continuation down. Uptrend, continuation down. These two levels are massive periods of consolidation that the price uh, consolidated in before their massive drop. If you go to a lower time frame, you can understand what happened here, right? This was the area where the bear or the bulls really fought back each one of these times. Ultimately, they lost though. But the point and, and the, the, the important thing is that the bulls did fight back in these very important levels. So every time we get back to those levels, it's acting as a very strong resistance or support. Great example. This monthly breaker came up here. What happened to it? It rejected and went back down. Okay. This was confirmed. Uh, this confirmed that this was a very strong level. Let's go to the monthly again, actually. All right. Um, let's go back to the weekly. Perfect. So, and then this one was confirmed right over here when it got up to this level and then rejected and found support in this one. See how that works? Came up here, rejected, found support down here, got above, found support again in this area, then accelerated the upside and then collapsed back down, right? We found support in the bottom one and now we're pressing up and trying to get into the second one. If we get above this second monthly breaker, that's a really, really, really important thing, okay? That's the overall, uh, that's what you have to understand about these breakers. They're gonna act as a very solid support if you are above it and a very solid resistance if you're below it. So right now we're above, we have reclaimed this major support level and now we're pressing against this major resistance level. Let's go to the weekly level, see what else we can find on here. Um, I do like this one. We talked about this prior, uh, this weekly level. And this was way back here when we were trying to push against it. Um, the reason why I like this level so much is because when it broke down, it came up here and it retested this, this weekly breaker and then continued back down. So I do like this. So lots of purple on this thing, which means we still have a lot of resistance right ahead of us. But we're doing the right steps. And on the daily, a very important one that I found on here was right here. And this is what I've been looking for for, the, uh, for a while. I really wanted to see us get above this level. And we finally did after an original rejection. See what happened? We came up there, tested it, rejected, and now we've accelerated the upside. This is awesome. Really, really, really happy about this movement. Okay, now let's go to the Bitcoin pairing and see how... Actually, before we do that, let's see where our moving averages are at. We always got to do that, right? So... Our daily 200 moving average is this massive line right here. And we've talked about on this channel so many times as to how incredibly important this level is uh, as a resistance or a support. Since we're going into it from the downside, this is going to act as a very strong resistance, which means you probably want to be taking uh, uh, profits around this area. So if it comes up here, taps it, you want to try to start taking some profits, especially if it looks weak going into it. Now, let's go to the BTC pairing and talk about Litecoin BTC. And this is actually where things become 
extremely clear. And this is the reason as to why I've been so bullish on Litecoin. The first thing we're going to talk about is this massive, massive falling wedge. Okay. So look at how this interaction starts right here, drops down, uh, comes back up, back down, back down. The important thing is you're making a series of lower lows and lower highs, but they're going into a central apex. Okay. So falling wedges are bullish patterns. See, if you, if you angle it appropriately, it looks a lot better and it gets really clear. So right down here, there, it's all going into a central apex and it came down here, busted the upside with conviction, right? But what happened? After it busted the upside, it then crashed along with everything else on Bitcoin and out the rest of the market when May 19th, right? That's when our that's when everything went to hell in the crypto market. It crashed, but and it did something really interesting here. If you go to the lower time frame, you can see all we did was create another falling wedge that was right on top of our larger falling wedge. Like that's that's pretty damn bullish, okay? So falling wedges are bullish patterns. So the fact that we're making another falling wedge is really, really good. <clears throat> and more importantly, for the first time in three minutes and 18 seconds, it looks like we're gonna get our first close. There's a little bull trap we had there, but our first real close outside of our falling wedge. Like that, that's huge. I cannot stress that importance enough. I'm just gonna adjust it right here. Do my, no, close enough. Either way, we're getting our first close outside of this. Since there, which was a, a bear trap, we have more volume on this push up, which makes me even more confident. Not only that, on the US dollar pairing, you can see this movement does seem impulsive I can find the dang thing. There it is. This looks like an impulsive movement. You have high volume, very obviously reclaim this daily breaker. This looks really, really good. So why did this take off? That's the big question. What are we looking for? Why, why were we so bullish? Well, obviously those falling wedges are very, very important. And not only that, we had this daily breaker that was established and we came up here and we, we, we tested it, but lost it. We rejected found support right above this range. If you draw a horizontal line across here, you guys can see how we had some sort of a range established, right? Came up here, tapped it, tapped it, tapped it, got above, retest, continuation up. This was a very, very solid support resistance flop. If you want a really good example of what this looks like, the support resistance flop, I'm gonna show you one that's completely outside of what you're probably expecting. We're gonna go to my friends, Where's Tesla at? There it is. We're going to talk about Tesla real quick. I know you're like, what? What are you doing? Why are you talking about Tesla? Who cares about that? All right. You're going to like this. So if you go back in time on Tesla and you find this consolidation structure, okay? What you have is you have this horizontal resistance. How can you tell? Well, tap, 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 broke above, came back down, retested it, right? Although it accelerated from it, what did it come back down? It came back, retested it. And then what happened? Well, we all know what happened. Tesla went on an absolute like tear, right? So the important thing was this horizontal resistance structure came up here, came back down, retested it is exactly what we're seeing with Litecoin right now. And that's a really, really good sign because we all know how Tesla ended up $75 right now, or it was, and now we're at $713 and we even went a lot higher than that. So, uh, yeah, am I bullish on, uh, on Litecoin? Yeah, of course I am. Right. Tap, 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 broke above, came back down, continuation up. This is perfect. This is exactly what you're looking for, for a range breakout and a retest. Awesome, awesome stuff. So uh, usually, or, or in all my Litecoin analysis, I've always been like, all right, the BTC pairing looks great. We're waiting for the US dollar pairing, but the BTC pairing looks so good. So, you know, I'm going to keep holding on to it, right? Now we have a confirmation that the US dollar pairing also looks good. This is the update from the previous video and why it's starting to take off. All right, now the next question is gonna be, where do we take profits, right? Where are we gonna be looking for profits on this coin? Well, Litecoin's had a hell of a run, right? And it had a lot of problems. And so it's dropped off really harshly. So um, unlike many of our other coins, we actually can use the US dollar parry to find some profit targets because we've just, we're so far down from where we were way in, uh, in the good old days. So let's look at some targets that I think make a lot of sense. Nothing on the three day weekly. Yeah. Okay. So essentially you have to assume each one of these big purple blocks are going to be resistance levels. Okay. 
However, they're massive purple blocks. So which one are you going to, like, how are you going to take a, a profit set? If you wanted to take a very small profit in this big block right here, okay, I'm going to take another small amount of profit in this one. Cool. I got that, right? That makes sense. The problem is that we can't really localize very well on exactly where to take profits on this chart. Um, if I was to pick spots to take profits, I think this makes a lot of sense. It's a really clear daily breaker. Um, maybe there? Yes, definitely here. The reason why this coincides with our 200 moving average. So 200 moving average, absolutely. That's an easy profit taking spot. I'm going to do so. You know, I can't recommend you to do so, but I'm going to do it. Um, inside this massive purple block makes sense. This daily blo this daily breaker has a lot of confluence with that. And right here is a very obvious target. If we get above here and here, yeah, I'll take a little bit here, take a little bit here. If we get above here, it's clear skies. Actually, one more spot. Take that back. I like this as well. So a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. Now, when I say a little bit, I do mean a little bit. I do not mean a lot of it, okay? That means I would take small amounts. Like if my entire portfolio size was hypothetically a thousand bucks, right? I'm going to take profits of like 5% here, 5% here, or probably 10% here, 5% here, 5% here, 5% here, 5% here. 5 here and then just let that sucker ride, okay? Um, the reason why is because Litecoin is an explosive chart. We've talked about this, right? It went 10,630% in the last bull run. So you're telling me a coin that did that won't even break its prior all-time high when all like many other altcoins have? Nah, fam, I don't believe that at all, right? I think it's gonna accelerate much, much more rapidly and it's gonna blow people's minds on how it goes. So the next we're gonna go to is the BTC pairing. And this we're gonna get a lot more uh, clarity on this chart. So obviously, once we clearly break out, which is two minutes after the fact, let's see if we did. We got our close. Awesome. Okay, we got our daily, we got our hourly close out of it. I want to see a daily close, which I don't think we got one on this chart. Nope, we did not. So get a daily close outside of here, and that would, in my mind, confirm it was not a bear trap or a bull trap like it was right here. So get out of this. I think we'll be in for a lot more upside. Okay. Uh, I think the power we're going to have here is going to absolutely blow people's, blow people's minds. So the first place I would be looking to take uh, profits on this chart is right here. Okay, This is my first level. I think it makes a lot of sense. This is the 200 moving average on the BTC pairing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a, I'm gonna create a, an alert right around it. And it's going to say on here, take profit. Actually, no, no. I'm going to do 10%. There you go. See? So what I'm doing is whenever it gets this level, I'm going to go in and no matter what it looks like right now, I'm going to instantly sell 10% of my LTC, right? And the reason why is because it's the BTC pairing. And if I'm trying to convert it into cash or US dollar, US teller, US coin, et cetera, I need to convert it into the, uh, the, the, the stable coin form and not Bitcoin, right? So whenever the Bitcoin pairing gets up here, I'm expecting it to drop relative to Bitcoin, but I want to transfer it into cash or U.S. coin, U.S. tether, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and just convert it into cash immediately at this spot. All right, cool. Um, okay, that, I think that makes a lot of sense. Let's go to the weekly part chair, see what else we have on here. Mm, no, I, I think it's going to blow right through there. I really do. And also we have the 200 around there, so no, I'm good. Um... This acted as our major resistance last time. So do I think it might act again as our major resistance? Yeah, makes sense to me. So I'm gonna go in right here. Same thing, right? Add alert. It's gonna be take profit, right? Or LTC, uh, 10%. There we go. Take 10% at this little block. Cool. Does that make sense? You take 10% here, 10% here on the US dollar pairing. I also have my own little setup set up, right? My alerts are really, really important in situations. So let's go ahead and zoom out. Let's see where else. Um, man, I think it's rough. It's hard to find really obvious spots to take profit at. I like this. Yeah, I like this, this block. This block. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, right? I mean, this is, this is how I'm doing this, right? So I'm going to go over here and it says take profits. LTC.
All right. Does this make sense, guys? Okay. So I'm taking 10% here, 10% here, 10% here. And yeah, I think it's probably close to 100% at all those different points. Now, the next thing I'm going to look for, is this the weekly? No, it's EMA. Okay. The next thing I'm going to look at is um, I'm going to wait until there's confirmation of a downtrend. So what that means is let's say it does something like this. Okay. Your price action. Let's say you got a box. Oops. Got to fix this. All right, cool. Let's say you got a box. This is a support level, right? And let's say that the price does this, right? Normally, it's going to go like this, back up, continuation up. That is a bullish market structure, right? And that's great, right? And that's what you want to see to, for a continuation of a trend. But let's say it is something like this, up, down. They come back down here again to confirm, right? But it actually does something like this and drops below that support level, right? You see that? Below the support level, come back up here and then reconfirm like that, right? This right here is what I'm looking for for a sell on LTC, right? Because it's a change in market structure because a series that's a series of a, a lower high and a lower low. And that means because you have a, a high, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Once you break down, down, down again, but meet the major resistance or support level, this now has confirmed some sort of a downtrend. Um, and if I do this on a four hour or a daily chart, that's a really big sign to the market. Hey, we actually have a lot of weakness. We should start, you know, getting out of this market a bit. All right. And that's what I'm looking for to take a lot more profit on it. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else? I think that's probably about it, honestly. So you guys know what I'm looking for for Litecoin. I think these are my primary levels I'm looking for. So right here at the 200 moving average on the BTC pairing right here on the daily breaker right here on this weekly breaker and on the us dollar pairing for litecoin we're going to be taking minor profits all the way up because it's not as clear so you have this as the weekly this as a daily this as a weekly monthly yeah monthly level weekly level uh weekly level then daily 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 right each one of these little spots i'll take a little bit of profit all the way up and um, as we bust through things or as we start showing weakness, I'll also get out of the market some more. So um, that's where I'm at. Oh, I did want to talk about one more thing. I'm sorry. How do you get back in this market, right? That, that's, that's the big one. I'm so sorry, guys. So where do you get back in this market if you missed the movement, right? Well, I think a very, very obvious level. If you can get something like this, okay, like, like, here, let me fix this real quick. Come back down here like this or something of this nature, right? A test, a retest, continuation up right in here. That's perfect. This is what you want to see right here. If you can get an entry down here, awesome, right? Now on the Litecoin BTC pairing, honestly, I would probably go ahead and throw some in. If you're not exposed right now, I'd probably throw some in now, realistically. Look at we're, we're accelerating the upside. Like this is perfect. This is what you want to see. I'm not a big fan of FOMO. But we're so close to entry on the light on the Litecoin BTC pairing that I think it's probably not a bad idea. So, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this video so I can get this thing uploaded as soon as possible so you guys don't miss this movement. Outside of that, I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces, boys.